showing you how I spring clean my closet. It's that time of year again, and I don't know about you guys, but my closet is the number one place that needs the most spring cleaning. And if you guys watched my Shop My Closet video, you know I've been collabing with Poshmark to kind of get through my closet, get it organized, and sell some of my items on the Poshmark app. Uh, but I have yet to, first of all, show you guys how I go through my clothes, and second of all, I've yet to really just take apart my closet, clean everything, wipe everything down, really organize it, and go through every single article of clothing, and I did that in this video, so you will see that. And if you guys don't know what Poshmark is, and you're like, girl, I have no idea what you're talking about, no worries. What it is, is it's a free app that you can download. I will have a link down in my description box so you guys can click on it and download the Poshmark app for free. And once you get into the app, you can start your own closet. Once you start your own closet, you can start posting photos of the items you'd like to sell. People can come to your closet and they can shop your closet and purchase the items uh, and slash or I guess. You can shop other people's closets. You can also browse brands, uh, like just in the search bar, type in a brand. You can type in anything from Louis Vuitton, there's Chanel, there's sporty brands like Nike and Adidas. Uh, there are uh, items that I've sold in the past have been like Nasty Gal, ASOS, Killstar, Dolls Kill. And actually some of the items that I will be showing you in this video as I'm going through my closet, you will actually be able to find some of those on my Poshmark closet right now. My closet on Poshmark is Jade Libra. And one thing I really love about Poshmark that I don't know. I'm one of those people that if I have too many obstacles, I'm just not gonna sell it. Like, forget it. So the great thing about Poshmark is they actually, when your item sells, they send you the label, they email it to you. So all you have to do is slap it on a box and drop it off. So that is what I will personally love about it because it just makes it easy to sell your clothes. So anyways, if you guys wanna see how I spring clean my closet, including how I sort through my clothes, figure out what I'm gonna donate or sell on Poshmark, or if you just wanna see how I kind of organize my clothes, like how I line them up, how I store them, all that good stuff that will all be in here as well as some cleaning inspo so so yeah 500 years later if you guys want to see how i spring clean my closet then just keep watching okay so the first thing i do is i get out a couple of bins you can of course use trash bags or boxes whatever you have around but i use these so i can separate the items i want to sell on poshmark from the items i want to donate this also prevents a mess later which is nice i also make sure i have a trash bag on hand in case i come across some trash or anything else kind of along the way Next, I'll turn on some music, or this here is an audiobook, anything that will keep me motivated during this long process because spring cleaning is no joke. Okay, so next I start sorting through my clothes. I don't have an order in which I sort through, like I don't start with t-shirts or jeans or whatnot, but I will work in sections of my closet. So here I'm in the black section of my closet and I am just sorting through rather quickly. I try to make this a quick process. I was reading in a book not long ago, I believe it was called like the life-changing art or the life-changing magic of tidying up. The author said that they recommend taking everything out of the closet, putting it on your bed or on your floor and piles and just start going through everything. But for me, I find it easier to sort through hangers just because I feel like I can see the clothes a lot better. But if all of your items are stored in drawers, you might find it easier just to pull everything out and kind of start from there. Another tip that the book gave was to touch every single item and determine how it makes you feel. If it makes you feel good, keep the item. If it doesn't make you feel good anymore, then get rid of it. For me, I have a really hard time with that because I end up loving every single item. But a really great tip in that book was to pay attention to your facial expression when you're touching the item. So if I'm unsure about an item or I haven't worn it in a long time, I will take it out and look at it. And you know that face you make when you're like, uh, I don't know, uh, and your face is all strange, or maybe even frowning a little bit, that's the face. That is the face that I know that I will never ever wear that piece, even if it's the cutest thing I've ever seen and I love it. If I don't know if I, I'm like, uh, if that's my instinct, then I'm just, I, it needs to find a better home. Another thing I consider when I'm going through my closet is how long it's been since I've worn an item. If it is a special occasion item or something, you know, like I'm not gonna wear a, you know, a fancy dress that you'd wear to a wedding every single day. But if it's an item that you haven't worn in a long time and maybe you don't know why, what I'll usually do is maybe try it on and see if there was a reason why. Maybe it was too big, maybe it was too small, maybe I didn't like the fit. Also, if I have duplicates in my closet or way too many things that are similar, I will usually not wear one or favor one over the other. So I will typically just try to weed out anything that I might like, but I just don't reach for it. And I have too many things that are similar like those. And from there, I decide whether or not I want to sell the item on Poshmark or whether or not I want to donate it. And I'll usually sell an item if it still has a tag on it or if it's only been worn a couple of times or if it's something like a flannel or a band tee or anything that's vintage. 
But if it's been worn a few times or it's something I would feel bad charging for, like it, the condition's not really that great and it wasn't that expensive to begin with, maybe it was like a $5 top that I wore a little bit too many times to really sell, um, I will still donate it if it's in good shape. But if it's an item that has stains on it or it doesn't smell that great or like, like has that musky or mildewy smell, unless it's vintage, of course, then I'll keep it. Uh, but if it's something that like that or it's shoes that have holes in them or an extra glove, stuff like that, obviously I will go ahead and toss it and I won't even try to donate it. But um, that's kind of what I do as I'm going through this process. All right, so here I'm starting to go through these little drawers in my closet, still just deciding what I wanna keep and what I'm going to sell or donate. But these little drawers are called the Ask Fall drawer, I believe. I know I'm butchering that name, but they're from Ikea and I will link them down in the description box for you guys if you wanna check them out. But I am so obsessed with these drawers for leggings, for crop tops or bodysuits, anything that's kind of a flimsy material that you can't really hang up or that kind of get lost in bigger drawers. These drawers are so perfect because they're small enough to put those items in, but they're still spacey enough to put quite a few pieces in. You could also use these drawers for lingerie or I don't know, just anything that's kind of smaller and doesn't really hang well. But yeah, so here I am just folding each pair of leggings so I can either put them back in the drawer or neatly put them in the the sell or donate box. And you guys will actually see a couple pairs of these leggings on my Poshmark closet. Uh, these Killstar Tarot leggings, which this really bumps me out even to say it, they are just slightly too big and they are seriously the most comfortable leggings ever and they have tarot cards all over them. Also, a pair I showed earlier, I believe, were these kind of witchy Wonder Woman looking kind of leggings, which are really cool. So all of those will be over on my Poshmark closet. My handle, once again, is Jade Libra if you are interested. I went ahead and grabbed everything out of the top drawer as well because I'm gonna clean inside of there and I didn't want any of that cleaning solution to drip down into the bottom drawer onto leggings and ruin anything. So I just went ahead and did this part now. Same thing, just going through and sorting through everything. But I'm really not gonna get rid of a ton of my bodysuits and my crop tops. There are a couple that I am selling or donating, but some of these are fairly new, so I just am not ready to let them go quite yet. But there were a couple that... I am going to find a new home for. I'm also gonna go through this basket. This is also from Ikea that holds my beanies and my gloves, but a lot of these baskets end up kind of being catch-alls at the end of the season and just get random stuff thrown in there, which you will see here in a second. So I'm just going through and making sure it's all beanies and matching gloves. If there are no matching gloves and there's just a Lone Ranger in there, I'll either try to find its partner or toss it, just depending on the condition of the glove. And I'm also gonna fold up my beanies and just get them placed back into the basket and all organized and stuff and you totally get the idea by now, I'm sure. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right, so while I have everything cleaned off the top of the dresser, I'm gonna go ahead and dust it and wipe it down and also wipe down the front of the dresser here. I'm using the Method All Purpose Spray and the Apple Scent, which is my favorite scent ever by them. And I'm just going to wipe down the front and the inside. If there's any dust on the inside, I like using the Swiffer Dry Mop Wipe things. Um, they're for the dry mop. They're not the wet one, but I don't know what it is about them. That's pure magic. But inside of drawers where you have that dust that just gets pushed around by rags or whatnot, this really makes it stick to that cloth. And then I just go ahead and wipe it all down. So that's my little trick there. Once my drawers are all dry, I'm going to go ahead and start folding my tops and putting them into the drawer itself. I got all of my folding tips from that one book I was talking about earlier, that life-changing art or magic or whatever it is of tidying up. She goes step-by-step step on how to fold things, and I am definitely not patient enough to fold, so I am not the best at it. But basically, she just gives you tips on how to get the items to kind of stand up on their own. So you basically wanna fold from the inside first, so inside towards the center, and then you fold up until it is, until it's the shape of a rectangle, but when you turn it on its side, it'll almost look like a triangle, almost like a house kind of thing where it will stand up on its own. And that way, when you look down into the drawer, you will see everything by pattern or by color, which is why I love using this method. And now that I think about it, I believe it's called the KonMari method, 
And I should have mentioned that 3,000 years ago, but uh, yeah, that's what it's called. I am not nearly as minimalistic, I guess you could say, as the KonMari method kind of puts out there. But if you're interested in seeing how to fold and sort and all that stuff, look into the KonMari method because that is kind of where I'm getting these ideas from. Anyways, I'm doing the same thing with my leggings, just folding them up and placing them into the drawer where I can see them by texture and pattern and color. I've also seen people roll their leggings and place them in, which is pretty cool. I have not tried that, but I could see where it would work. And so I think it's just totally preference there. I'm fast forwarding through this drawer pretty quickly because this is kind of my miscellaneous drawer. It's more shorts that can't be hung up, spandexy type of shorts, little cami tanks. And I even sometimes put skirts and things like that in here as well. And my final drawer is socks, but these are more like my knee socks and just longer socks or the socks that have really cool patterns or the ones I get over Halloween time. And how I fold my socks is I first match them up and then I kind of fold them over and then roll them. And the reason I don't cuff my socks is I read in that same book that I can't stop talking about that when you cuff your socks, it actually stretches one of the socks out. So you'll have one sock that's slouchy and baggy and the other sock will fit perfectly. And I had that problem for the longest time. I didn't realize it was because I was cuffing my socks. So I learned that little tip and I've been doing it ever since just to roll your socks and or fold them instead. So that's what I do. So I'm gonna put everything back onto the dressers that were there before, a couple of purses, things like that. And then I'm gonna move on to my shoe cabinet area. Since sand and dirt and dust kind of get all kind of on the bottom of the shelves here, I'm gonna use my little cordless vacuum. This is a Dyson vacuum. This is their little animal, I think one, that's the cordless. This vacuum may be one of the best investments I've made on a household item ever. This thing is so worth it because you don't have to deal with cords and plugging it in and all that stuff. So when you're in a closet or a tight space or places that don't have access to an outlet every five seconds it's really handy to have and then what I'll do is I'll take one of those Swiffer wipes like I was talking about earlier and I will wipe down all of my shoes with a Swiffer wipe I feel like this is the best way to wipe down shoes because like I said before some of those cloths just kind of smear around dust this really like kind of sucks it up I don't know what it is about this that's magic I feel bad being wasteful using these but I only use one for all of my shoes so unless there's a ton of dust that are like caked on your shoes you're only going to need one for the whole thing plus these claws don't just fling dust everywhere so I really really love this so I'm just going to use the vacuum wipe it down do the whole deal and that's what I'm doing here Here I'm just quickly going through some of my jewelry and making sure I still have clasps and all my necklaces and my earrings match. These bins here are from Target, the little organizing bins, and that little bangle storage or that where I'm storing my bracelets there are from Home Goods. Also go through and hang up any hats that were kind of left around the house. I use these little command hooks there to store my hats and I find that is the best way to hang them on the wall without damaging it. All right, so now onto my favorite storage solution for denim ever. This is the Kalax or Kalax system from Ikea. I will have this linked in the description box for you guys, but both me and my husband store our denim in this way and we love it because it looks nice and clean, almost like a retail store. You can see your denim by shade or by brand, just depending on what works for you. And the way I fold my denim is I line it up to where the crotch is on the left hand side and then I fold it over so the crotch stays on that left side. So when I put it into that little cubicle area, that little pointy crotch area is pressed up against that straight edge there. And then the other side is nice and straight. So there's no little areas poking out or nothing looks uneven. It looks nice and clean and organized. Just love this system for denim especially after years of trying to do hangers where they would just sag off of hangers or fall off. This system just makes my life so much easier. 
Also, this little basket right here is from Home Goods, and this is where I keep all of my denim shorts, and I just fold them up and place them in in a similar fashion as I did the leggings to where when I pull out the basket, I can just see everything right away, all the different shades of denim, and then I can just pull out what I need and then just get a move on, you know what I mean? So I literally just cleaned out this basket so I didn't do it again, but this is where I keep all my flats or little dainty shoes that would just take up too much space if they were on a shelf. All right, so here I'm going back through and organizing everything by color. So this is totally preference. It depends on what you kind of think about when you're getting dressed in the morning or just when you get dressed in general. Are you thinking about what colors you wanna wear? Or are you thinking about, oh, I need a long sleeve top or short sleeve top? And that's gonna kind of determine what might be best for you. I've tried both ways. And for me, it's kind of conflicting because as much as I walk into a closet and think, oh, I want to wear a long sleeve or short sleeve today, uh, I really do like the aesthetic value of everything organized by shade. So uh, just for the purpose of switching it up, I'm going to switch back to the whole Roy G. Biv action. If you know Roy G. Biv, you know, uh, I'm going to switch back and kind of just go by shade and then... I don't know if it doesn't work out, then I'll go back. But I've just for me, it just looks it just looks better. I can't get it. I don't know. It's just weird. I'm being weird, but moving on. All right, so here I'm just moving around my skirts and my jacket so I can get the embarrassing amounts of dust bunnies hanging out underneath all of these things. I don't even know the last time I actually cleaned that baseboard, but obviously it's been quite some time, not gonna lie. I'm definitely neglecting this area, but yeah, using my little Dyson to zap those dust bunnies up. From there, I'm gonna pull up the rug and I'm going to vacuum and mop the rest of the hardwood floors. And here I'm just using the method. I think it's the squirt mop is what it's called, but it is the almond scent and oh my gosh, favorite scent ever. It's literally the only good thing about mopping. And then I put everything back and we are done. that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed spring cleaning with me. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey girl, hey down in the comments box because you know I love talking to you. Also, don't forget there's a link down in the description box to download the Poshmark app for free. You can start getting through your clothes and selling them on Poshmark and maybe even shopping other people's closets. Also, leave your closet handles down in the comment section if you guys have Poshmark already. That way we can all kind of shop each other's closets. Anyways, I think that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.